Hello all, Marika here. It's been over a year since I made my first YouTube tutorial, so I figured it was about time to make another one. So for today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how I made the grass scenery using stencils by my favorite things and distress inks. For this tutorial, I will be using the Drift and Hill stencil together with the Grassy Edges stencil. Out of 200 grams office paper, I cut a rectangle. Take out the Drift and Hill stencil and temporarily add the stencil to the paper. With a regular blending tool and gather twig distress ink, I blend in the first layer of sand. For the base ground, I only use one color distress ink. To get the darker border on the top, I just add in a few layers of ink. After the first layer is done, I remove the stencil and rotate the stencil 90 degrees and repeat the same steps. When my ground is all done, I move to the grass. In between, I clean up my glass mat though, because I don't want to pick up any excess ink that was left over at my mat. The grassy edge stencil has two types of grass. You have the low grass and the high grass. I don't know if that is the right way to say it, but it made sense to me. I start with two borders of low grass. Again, I temporarily add the stencil and blend in some twisted citron. After my first layer is done, I blend in some mauve lawn. Get back in with my twisted citron until I'm happy with the end result. After the first two borders of low grass, I add in a layer of high grass, repeating the same steps for the lower grass. After the grass is done and I am happy with it, I move on to my sky. I use Stumble Glass Distress Oxide ink and Salty Ocean Distress ink. I'm an impatient crafter and I think using the regular tumbled glass distress ink takes up so much time, so that's the reason why I use my oxide ink. I add a layer of tumbled glass. Once I'm happy, I blend in some salty ocean and get back in again with my tumbled glass. When my ink blending is all done, I grab my Tim Holtz Distress Sprayer to add some splatters of water. Before I dab it off with my paper towel, I wait a few seconds so it has time to react with the ink. The next step is to add some colored splatters. I mask off the top and the bottom of the scene using both stencils. I mix up some field day ink with water and mix it up with the paintbrush. Pick up some color and tap off the color using my scissors. A small tip here is how bigger the paintbrush is, the bigger your splatters. I like small splatters like for a scene like this, so I use a small paintbrush. Another tip is not to dab off the splatters with a paper towel. In my experience, it will remove the color and it will only leave a water splatter behind. So heat set it or let it dry while you clean up your mat. I repeat the same step for the ground, only this time I use Ground Espresso Distress Ink.
The background is all done and ready to go. You could use it for all kinds of purposes like gardening, a farm or like I did for an Easter card. I hope you enjoyed my tutorial. If you want to see more of me crafting leave a comment below or leave a message on my Instagram or blog. If you want to know more about this card there is a link in the description below. Bye bye!